Ignoring air resistance, the horizontal component of a projectile's acceleration, A, is zero, B, remains a non-zero constant, C, continually increases, or D, continuously decreases. So we know that as the object in a projectile motion is going through the air, so here we draw the ground, now we're going to throw a ball up, it's going to follow a parabolic trajectory, and fall back down. As it's in the air, we know that the horizontal component of velocity remains the same throughout the entire trip. So Vx, as we can see, is constant. So Vx is constant. If Vx is constant, then the acceleration, or Ax, in the horizontal direction is equal to zero. It's not a non-zero constant, so B is wrong. It's not increasing because the velocity of our ball in the X direction doesn't change. So the acceleration is not decreasing or increasing. So C and D are wrong. B says it's a non-zero constant. Well, it's zero, so it is zero, it's zero, so B is wrong. So we see that A stating it is zero is correct because the horizontal component of the projectile's acceleration is zero because the velocity has remained unchanged. You remember that the acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. If our velocity doesn't change as you progress over time, then your acceleration is equal to zero meters per second squared. So our acceleration is zero, which is choice A.